this one's gonna be about orphan packages now uh, let me try to explain what orphan packages is first of all um, you know when you're installing some stuff uh, let me see here let's say you're installing this one mark for installation you see how it has like uh, dependencies uh, to make that program work okay like this K wallet or whatever the hell it is but let, let's say later you uninstall that app and uh, you know they leave the dependencies behind um, that's just how they do it there's no option like um, <clears throat> you know how you uninstall a program right you uh, mark for a removal that will remove the program uh, you mark for a complete removal that will remove the program and the configuration files okay the configuration files kinda like uh, the settings for the program okay like in a text form or something like that and I'll remove that but nowhere does it say remove dependencies for this motherfucker that we just installed like a long time ago right there's none of that um, they don't do that so those are called the orphan packages uh, is no longer needed it um, in most cases okay <clears throat> uh, so to remove the or the orphan packages uh, there is a uh, package in here uh, it's called dev orphans and this is the command line and if you want the the, the G GUI then you get the GTK version here alright and um, let me open that and this is how it looks like so <clears throat> we have um, the orphan package and the non-orphan package now don't mess with these because these are the ones that you're actually going to use now even though it says orphan packages doesn't mean you can always remove all of these okay some of these you're still using um, I believe okay like um, I'm pretty sure I'm still using this codec you know uh -huh. but all these other ones I'm not really sure of but I know I don't need this crap uh, you know so you gotta know exactly what you're removing and if you make a mistake you know just uh, reinstall it again okay I mean the name is here all you gotta do is reinstall it and uh, right here for the options you can do some other crap too like let's say you remove the package already you know you put uh, remove you didn't put complete removal which uh, the configuration files so you can still do uh, removing the configuration files here if you like say for the programs that you uh, installed in the past but you still have the settings for it uh, like this piece of crap here I, uh, I had like a kernel failure it was a fake warning but uh, this piece of crap here so I can go ahead and delete that you know uh, same thing with the trickle uh, just mark for removal and okay okay and that's, that's about it uh, same thing they have some other crap here show all packages but uh, basically uh, a fair warning make sure you know what you're removing but uh, you know you don't actually have to remove the part from packages if you don't want to it's still okay it's, it's gonna take a little space but uh, uh, it's really up to you uh, so this is uh, the GTK front end for Orphan okay another way to do it is um, with the synaptic itself here if you go to um, you see uh, settings here and go to filters alright um, we're gonna make a new one here let's call this uh, Orphan alright and uh, uh, deselect all and just push uh, this one only orphan it files okay and hit ok now if you um, go to the where the custom filters is and then choose orphan the one that we just made you'll see that all the files that uh, you know was uh, in our GTK front end well most of the files uh, are in here that we can uh, remove you see and it's all here it's the same way it's the same thing uh, that's how you would remove the orphan packages um, 
like I said before, make sure you know what the hell you're removing. And the last way is uh, probably the easiest way, I guess. The terminal. Now, usually you do, um, what is it, one? Pseudo apt auto remove. Shit. <laughs> auto remove. And, uh, that usually take care of. Oh, let me close this off first. Say if you do that, sudo app get auto remove. Uh, they'll tell you um, which package is no longer needed, and I'll tell you um, to to remove that. And you just push yes, and that's pretty much it. But this one is the really um, you know for the basic usage. Um, so that's another way to do it. You know, sudo app get auto remove, and and uh, they'll do uh, the removing process. And that's pretty much it. Look at that. Uh, so that's uh, some of the ways you can do the the orphan packages uh, that you won't need no more. And that is pretty much it. All right.